Hi guys, it's Emily again. I can't believe it's been a week already. Um, we've had a few sleepy days, if I'm honest. <laughs> so being in the studio today is so breathtaking. Um, the children have been doing tons and tons of art, which is so, so great. Um, it's really relaxing them a lot and getting all their colors out, um, painting on absolutely anything, cardboard, tins, um, paper, scrap pieces of paper, cereal boxes, canvases. Um, so we've got our canvas here today. Um, hopefully you've done two coats of your um, background colours like we did last week. And this week I'm going to be showing you how we can start blending the colours without the use of spray paints because I'm aware that many of you guys won't have um, spray paints at home in your craft boxes. So if I hold this one up here, you can see where I've started to put colours between to blend the rainbow background a little. So I'll just give you a little demonstration. I'm trying to keep this week's video a little bit shorter. Um, so I've done a lot of this one already and it's really effective. It just softens the background a fair bit. So when you come to put um, something over the top, whether that's your portrait or something else that you choose, um, then you've got a much softer blended background to do. So you need your paints. I'm using these acrylics. But you can use anything. Um, like I say, you can be doing this with pens, pastels. Um, if you're using colouring pens and you've got this background, you could use dots maybe close together and then further apart to blend out. Um, I could do a little demonstration on that next time maybe um, to give you an idea. So today you'll need, ideally, a paintbrush like this that's got the point on the end so it's a bit narrower if you don't have one don't worry you can use any paintbrush it's just this is a bit easier to blend um, so if we start with the pink here I'll show you how you can do your blending so I'm using just a box as a palette here and you want a relatively dry brush um, and I've mixed a little bit of pink with white and once you've mixed a little bit all around your brush you actually want to get most of it off again. So it's really quite dry. Now, if you're like me and you like to keep your brushes nice, this technique is not for you. <laughs> so the older the brush, the better, because it will ruin your bristles slightly. Um, okay, so you want to take it out here to the edge and you're pressing really, really lightly and kind of going in a circular motion. So you're holding the brush quite loosely and you're going over a lot of the pink that you've already done before you go out to the next bit. Now, I can already see that my brush is still a little tiny bit wet. So if you've got some kitchen towel, just wipe it on the kitchen towel, get the excess off. And then start again at the end, coming round circular motions, sweeping the color. And you'll start to hear, I don't know if you can hear it, my heating's just come on. <laughs> sun's out but it's kind of chilly in here today so you'll start to get scraping sounds on your canvas which usually I would not like but it's actually really fun doing this because you get to see that your bristles will make all sorts of patterns now if your children are doing this my two absolutely love this effect because you can see particularly if you're using canvas as well the grains of the canvas start to come through and it's beautiful so as you can see, it's starting to blend in. So the brush is really dry now and it's taking it, taking it right through. You go over what you've done, get a little bit more pink and just go over so you blend. You don't, ideally don't wanna see the line too much underneath. So you want to keep bringing that out until it blends all the way down. And this is a really fluid way of painting. So there's no perfectionism here. It's all about getting the strokes, getting your dry paintbrush and just seeing what effects you can get with this. It's a lot of fun. So once you're happy with that, you can always rework this by the way. So it's a bit like the base coat that we did. You might do a coat of this blending and then think, oh, actually I could go over that. Um, a little bit and when it's dry obviously it, it um, transforms again as well 
because the light will change on it. So you can see that we've blended the pink there and it's blended right into the yellow. So you've softened your background slightly on that one. So I've also added in a few new colors. So this light blue is a new color here and I put this light blue here as well um, to separate the pink and the yellow. So I think we need something here. So we don't have much blue down here, so I might, oh actually green, I might try some green. Um, so if you keep your brush nice and clean, but again, you want to dry it off so it is really, really, really quite dry before you get your paint on there. So if we get a bit of the green on our brush and then dry it off quite substantially again so you don't have much of the fluid paint on your brush, just the excess on your dry bristles. So as you're getting the paint on, you're then twizzling the brush to get the excess paint off like that. So if we do, I'll turn that one actually around that way. So now it could feel quite scary <laughs> going in with a totally different color and that's okay. It's good to be scared sometimes. It's the scary things that tend to exhilarate us the most. <laughs> so a rough line and then it's when you start twizzling your brush and just letting the bristles get drier and drier and drier. Now you want to bring it out both sides of this because we've added a new colour and obviously with colour blending you'll probably find, as you can see, which the children will love this because this gets them onto their colour wheel actually, um, if you can find a colour wheel online be amazing to show them why when you put green on yellow and then you put green I'm just drying my brush a bit then you put green on the pink you've obviously ended up with two very different colors the green has become lighter on the yellow it's turned into this beautiful electric green and it's actually become a bit purpley on the pink so if you get your color wheel out and have a look at your primary secondary and tertiary colors that's a little lesson that you could do with the children today colour wheels are really exciting actually and if you get get your paints out or colouring pencils and they can create their own and then you can experiment with some colour mixing of their own and they'll learn so much about how artists of our time and times before us chose their colours and that is beautiful actually I love this purple that's come onto here it's lovely I might not go over that actually I quite like that so you can hear hopefully, that my brush is really scraping now, so it is really dry. So I'm going to bring that out a little bit further because I really like that purple. And then take this one whilst it's so dry. I'll hold this up in a minute so you can see as well. Lovely blending on there. So you can see, I think, we're almost there. I think I just want to blend something just up here. So I'm going to carry on with this one and I'll post a picture when I'm done. And then you guys, please post pictures of yours too. I'd love to see your blending. Any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, and I hope you have fun. Thank you guys. Bye.